All right, I'm going to go into my second hive here. This one um, was not quite as strong. We had seen the queen when we transported it, but I have yet to see the queen. So I'm going to be looking for my queen. I also wanted to check a couple of these frames, see how they're doing in their development. And there's a little bit of development on that side, and a little bit on this side. Nothing major, not quite as far as the other guy, the other colony. You guys are a little spicy. Turn around. You'll notice I switched to some latex gloves much easier to handle these. Let's put this down. And we're gonna pull out a frame here. Oh, I shook it a little bit. I didn't like that. One of these full frames, considerably heavier. Again, you've got the honey up in the top corners. You've got brood that's capped, means that they're about ready to come on out of their shells. I doubt I would see a queen here, but in the other hive, I actually did see it on a fairly well-developed frame. Give it a little look on the other side. They like this less the cooler it is, so it lets the heat of the hive out. A lot of honey in this frame. Well, they've got the honey cap that actually swells out considerably compared to the rest of the hive or the frame. I don't see a queen. I do feel a bee tickling one of my fingers, walking along it and buzzing. Alright, we're gonna put this frame back. This is a little scarier since I don't have the thick gloves on. If they decide they don't like me, it's going to hurt. And there's a bee who is kind of feisty and checking things out. There's a couple of bees checking me out. They're not exactly happy that I'm in here. Make a little smoke. Smoke tells them there's a forest fire nearby. 
pack up on honey. And there's a guy that's buzzing around my head. I wish it would tell him that. I'm going to look for my 